What's up y'all? So before we get started in today's install video of my new control arms, I have received the t-shirt. We are going to open up this box of shirts and see how the design and product came out. Um, I'm nervous and anxious. Well, I think it's the same thing. Let's get it! Alright, got my trusty Cutter Brother 3000 blade. You know what I'm saying? You know, I gotta be advertiser friendly so I can't be dropping the end bomb. Bro! They demonetized all my cooking videos because it's not advertiser friendly. I didn't curse in any of those videos. And it's not advertiser friendly. Moved up this damn box. Huh, what kind of blade? Oh Lord. Probably don't stab the shirt. Here are the here's the first shirt. Oh, okay, well they're all like this, huh? I'm assuming. Okay. All right. So here is the shirt. All right. So here's the front of the shirt right here. Oh, this quality feels so nice. And here is the back of the shirt. That is sick. This is not. Oh, the quality is so nice. Oh man, I can't wait to ship these out to the people who actually support your boy and wanted some official Zosh merchandise. This is this is dope. And if you guys wonder who made the shirts, it's by Next Level Apparel. It's pretty dope, man. Like the shirt is pretty light. The quality feels dope. Quick shout out to everyone who actually got a shirt, man. Thank you so much for supporting your boy and. You know, the shirt's dope, bro. Like, you got the little Zosh face on the front and on the back, you got the 100K stuff. This is just dope. And it's a nice white, like a cream white. It's a dope shirt. I'm, I'm really happy about these shirts. My first time, like, doing legit shirt uh, printing and doing it right. Thank you guys so much. They'll be shipped out later this week. Now on to the video. What's up, guys? So for today's video, we are going to be installing these beautiful, function and form anodized bronze lower control arms. Oh man, I can't wait to get started on this bad ting, man. This ting is very bad, man. It's bad for you. You jerk chicken island rasta clock. All right, so first things first, you're gonna need you're gonna need a jack, or if you're rich, you have a lift. But I don't have a lift, so we're gonna use a jack, and you're gonna need some tools. Now this tool kit, this husky tool kit, is actually pretty dope. It's cheap. If you want something that's actually affordable with a quality part? Husky is, you know the way to go. All right, so I'm gonna start off by loosening the wheel. Time to jack the car. So now that you got the car jacked in the air and you have your wheel off, you're gonna be prompted with three 14 millimeter bolts. You got this one, this one, and this one over here. Sorry, you guys can see. This, this, and this. And that's pretty much it. So for loosening this bolt, I can't fit a socket because this line in the way and I'm being hella lazy. I thought why not just use this little 14 millimeter ratchet wrench and bring it loose. And I can't fit my tripod under my car to film this part. So I'm just going to do it right now and then, you know, start installing the new one. But look at this bushing. Look at that. It was moving. I don't know if I could. This thing is, it's garbo. It's bonk. I also need to get a new trailing arm bushing over there. I'm going to see if you guys can. It's the bushing that's right there somewhere i gotta get that replaced soon too because that's bonk but yeah let me just loosen this bolt and then we can start installing the new one okay so remember how i said i was just gonna be lazy and not you know loosen this line well i had no choice but to do it anyway because this is actually on the control arm itself and the wrench didn't even fit around this so now i'm able to use the ratchet on this and i had to loosen this anyway so yeah All right, so I was just struggling to get this damn thing out and I thought of a genius way. Maybe if I jack it up, it'd just come out easier because it's like wedged in there every time I kept pulling down on it. You guys seen in that previous footage. So let's see if this works now. Oh, there's another bolt. Oops, yeah, there's four bolts.
Okay guys, so I was sadly mistaken. There's an actual another bolt that bolts onto this thing right here and I did not see that. Now I know. So when you go to do this, make sure you loosen this bolt. Now look at this, this is just crusty. This, they're shot, oh my God, this one's shot. Ooh, this thing is shot, boy. This one's shot too. All shot. You got old and you got your new gold, baby. Now the only crappy thing about aftermarket um, little control arms is they don't come with thread holes or whatever you want to call them to mount back the stuff that you just took off yeah, that kind of sucks man i don't want to zip tie anything but my whole car is put together by zip ties so i got that reference with the logos only got the zip tie ha! so yeah um we're just gonna make it do what it do install these bad boys right now and yeah start the other side after i do that now if your bushings ever go bad on your stock ones just replace the bushing man just look how beautiful look just look how look how beautiful this is oh that anodize is just so so beautiful, just so beautiful. All right, let's start the install. All right, here we go with the fresh new install, baby. Okay, so we all know I'm an idiot. My idiot self had this jacked up, right? So I'm like, yo, why isn't it not like, you know, working with the suspension? I end up having to take off the suspension. You guys can't, oh, damn, the ice was high. I had to take off the suspension just in order to get this working properly. But the thing was, it still wasn't working properly. So I had to unjack it and now everything is like, you know, semi lining up. I just gotta do minor stuff adjustments to make it work. But overall, I did not have to remove my suspension. I'm just an idiot. So this is my first time actually doing these and I haven't looked on no Integra forms, no Honda Tech forms. So I'm giving you guys like a true install of me being retarded and you know, not using my brain. For this side, it's gonna be much better than this side, okay? So let me just get this side <laughs> installed properly and then I'll do that side with actually how to do the damn thing without going through all the trouble I've been through, all right? Let me finish this damn thing. A wild Amanda Apeyas. But let me show you guys so far. I just put the suspension back on. Um, look at that. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I actually accidentally installed it backwards. <laughs> But look at that though, compare, look at it from over there. I gotta get those rust holes fixed, don't judge me. But from there to there, look at that. That's such a nice improvement, man. All right, time to start the other side. Ooh, look at that, anodized. Ooh, so bling. Get this bad boy in style. Okay, so what I recommend for getting this part to slide down so you can put the bolt in is jack the hub up to meet where that's up there since my uh, bolt hole socket, whatever goes through up there, just jack the hub and it will fall into its place. And then I gotta do it, just stick the bolt in. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so once you did everything correctly, everything should just go in and then all you do is just start tightening everything and then you're done. Just that easy. Not hard at all. And there you have it, folks. It is complete. It is now complete. All. What'd you say? They can't even hear you because this is a one way mic. They can't hear you. All I need now is my subframe brace and my high have clean. I gotta get this fixed. My bumper is just getting eight, dog. All I need is a new car. 
can't wait to get a new girlfriend who stops roasting me and loves me for me and my rust hole filled car. Jesus, Amanda, all you do is roast me, bro. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up today's video. I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Function Inform for sponsoring this video with their awesome products. Now, the purpose of an aftermarket low control arm is it weighs less than an OEM. An OEM low control arm is around like seven to 10 pounds. Aftermarket, you can get them from like two to five pounds, depending on like which brand you go with. Function Inform low control arms are weighed about two pounds, which will be hell like eight pounds lighter. And it's not really a bunch of a big difference, but it's a difference of itself. Once I start driving the car, you know, take a little more bendy turns and stuff like that. I'll give you guys like a quick little review of them. Now, if you guys would like your own set of Function Inform low control arms to match your Function Inform suspension, click the link down below and grab yours today. Uh, thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out peace thank you guys for watching this video i'm sorry it's not the most info structural info structural let her do drop turds in peace man my dog's dropping turds look at <laughs> oh i want to okay there we go You're retarded, man. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I will be shipping out shirts later this week. I'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace. Come on, man. I'm trying to take my outro. Dang, kitty dropping them damn thunder turds over there.